Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to create a frequently used infinite corridor. First, let's create a blueprint actor. I created a few meshes for the corridor. I will use them. I will quickly create a corridor, but not too short. It will consist of a floor, walls and a ceiling. As the character runs, the corridor will regenerate when they pass a certain area. To control this checkpoint, I'm creating a box collision. I'm placing it on the x-axis at the start of the corridor. I'll also need an arrow object. I'm positioning this at the end of the corridor. The new section will start from here. Let's move to the event graph. First, let's create a reference for our character. Select the box collision and choose On Component Begin Overlap from the menu on the right. We need to verify that the character passing through here is our character. We equate Other Actor with our character reference and connect it to the branch node. If the result returns true, we can spawn the new part of the corridor. We call the spawn actor from class node. We select the blueprint. We are currently in as the class. We will provide the position of the arrow object we added earlier as the spawn transform. We only need the location, so we split the spawn transform. We connect the location to the return value. Let's try it out. Yes, new sections are created as we progress. However, the dozens of meshes that are created will negatively affect the performance of your game. We need to delete the sections behind the character as it moves forward. For this, we need another box collision. Let's duplicate the existing one and position it. It should be a little further ahead, otherwise the character will fall down. With the duplicated box collision selected, let's select on Component Begin Overlap from the menu on the right. We need to repeat the character reference check above. After the branch node, we only need to call the Destroy Actor node. Yes, the sections behind us are being deleted. But what if the character turns back? Let's create another box collision and position it on the other side of the corridor this time. Select on Component, begin overlap again.
Let's also add the character reference check. Now, there's something important here. These triggers should work when the character returns. Otherwise, it will enter an infinite loop and our game will crash. So, how will the game know that we are going backward? We need one more condition. We need to access the character's capsule component. We will use the character's velocity value on the x-axis. Let's call the get component velocity node. Let's split the return value. We need the x-axis. If it's less than zero, it means we're going in the opposite direction. Let's connect it to the AND boolean. Both conditions must be met. Let's do the same check in the other triggers as well. It should work if the velocity is greater than zero. Let's check the x-axis with event tick. We need to distinguish between positive and negative values. Yes, as we run forward, it returns a positive value. We're on the right track. Let's respawn the corridor at the position of the newly created arrow object. Since there is a distance between them, we need to perform an addition operation. I think there's a problem. The meshes are overlapping. We need to increase the distance. We got an error. Let's look for a solution right away. A few moments later. Yes, I found the solution. The second arrow object was not far enough away. For this reason, multiple character references are trying to be created at the same time, and we are facing an infinite loop problem. Okay, it's working properly now. But we also need to delete the corridors that form when we return. We'll repeat the delete operation from above. Let's duplicate the box collision and continue. Position it where the second arrow object is. The velocity value should be less than zero. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.